All right, as we move through the next several days, we do have a couple rain chances in there, and you can probably pick out those rain chances just due to the pollen forecast because when you get rain in here, the numbers drop a little bit. We do have some showers in the forecast Friday and Saturday. A dry day on Thursday means some elevated pollen numbers out there, and I always like to say sneezing for a reason, and you definitely will be tomorrow. So if you suffer from allergies tomorrow, not the best of days for you. Rain chances, nothing on Thursday. For Friday, we do have a 60% chance of showers. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder in there. Saturday and Sunday, rain chances dip, but they're not gone completely. The weekend forecast may need an umbrella at times. Dry across the southeast right now. It's so gorgeous outside during the afternoon. Almost full sunshine. A couple of these mid and high clouds are trying to meander through the southeast, but no moisture with those. We'll wait a couple days before we see the rain across our local area. Temperatures at this hour coolest along the coastline. I just checked out at Fort Pulaski and Tybee Island. The water temperature only 60 degrees. It is running a little bit behind this year and it may start to warm up as we go into the weekend. A couple degrees with those warmer temps. You can see some of those building off to our west and those will start to arrive here the next couple days. 12 hour forecast. We fall through the 50s down into the 40s by morning. Another cool start out the door. May need an extra layer or a light jacket. Won't be needed long, though. A very quick temperature warm up tomorrow. Here are the afternoon highs with a nice mix of sun and clouds. 75 in Hazelhurst and Baxley. Mid 70s in Reedsville. About 75 in Jessup. Upper 60s for Darien. 74 in Hinesville. We go towards Statesboro and Sylvania. Low to mid 70s. 75 in Springfield. 74 in Rinkin. Bryan and Chatham counties. As long as you're away from the coastline, should be low to mid 70s tomorrow. Otherwise, 68 for Tybee, upper 60s on Hilton Head, and then 72 for Beaufort, Bluffton, and also the Palmetto Bluff area. Future cast now. Let's go forward in time. Thursday afternoon looks great here across the southeast. It's really not until Thursday night or Friday. Clouds build across the area. A couple lighter showers may graze the coastline. Most of the rain will hold off until Friday morning. Could be a period of steady or heavy rain, but that should sweep through pretty quickly. And then behind it during the afternoon, mainly dry conditions Friday with just a little bit lower end chance of some showers trying to sneak in here. Your weekend planner, warmer temperatures, and both days do include a 30% chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Here's the area's certified most accurate forecast. Most of us will enjoy these temperatures. We're finally back to average, which is now mid 70s the next couple days. And as we go into the weekend and early next week, signs of Slightly warmer air and along with it, you'll feel the humidity back in here. Uh, touch on the muggy side. Any outdoor plans Friday through Monday may need an umbrella. Back to you.